let's talk about the new Midjourney 7 video generation tool and why you should consider using it. The short answer, Midjourney is only $60 per month for unlimited video generations. So yes, that's the best deal on the internet, but does the quality make it worth the 60 bucks? In this video, I test Midjourney 7's video generation capabilities against several other tools, including Google's VEO2, Kling AI 2.1, Leonardo 2.0 Motion, and Runway ML Gen 4. Let's look at a few results to compare them. So first I grabbed this still image from the Midjourney preview page from another creator and I didn't collect his or her name, so I'm sorry about that, but I love the image. And I wanted to put it in motion. My prompt was simple, but contains a tricky element. The monk begins to levitate softly above the stone threshold. A bright light forms around him and rapidly radiates outward across the frame. The reason I chose levitation is that it's really a difficult action for most models to make someone levitate. Is there a sound or a voice? No. However, you can use separate applications like Suno.com to create your own music and Eleven Labs to create your own voice for the monk. In the next video, I want to test a few things multiple characters physically interacting with one another so we can see how Midjourney interprets complex motion and how well Midjourney interprets hair movement. So I created an image and then wrote this prompt for the video. Ultra photorealistic wide angle shot of a miniature dachshund riding a horse on the beach. First off, I had to choose the image and I went with this one. Although this one's really cute, I wanted to actually have the horse walk into the water. So the motion looks really natural for both the horse and the dog. So that's cool. The water's not perfect, but uh, it's definitely a vast improvement. So I think that gets a pass as well. Did you just ride a horse on the beach? In the final test, I wanted to force Midjourney to create a video with something that was not in the original image. So I generated this image of a woman in New York City, and then I wrote a prompt. She walks a bear down the street. Midjourney actually did a really nice job with this, though I think that's a baby polar bear. So all in all, I think Midjourney does a really nice job with this product. Some things I don't love about Midjourney, hair movement still isn't natural in their videos, so don't expect to create a shampoo commercial anytime soon. They aren't getting hands quite right yet. You can see that in the monk video. Midjourney hasn't nailed text and images, which is super essential for business and a real competitive disadvantage against products like Ideogram and ChatGPT ImageGen, both of whom create text and images very well. Lastly, Midjourney hasn't mastered multiple objects in a single image. I gave it a list of 20 and it managed about 12, while ChatGPT ImageGen consistently got 15 or 16 objects correct in the same static image. As a quick aside, I always have new tricks that I'm testing across my businesses, and I can easily drop those tips into an email to share with folks. So you guessed it, I'm sending out an email for people who are interested in my latest prompts, workflow automations, or business tools that I've been using successfully. It'll also be covering broader marketing and business operational tips for things like cold outreach, SEO, social media, email management, meeting notes, paid ad campaigns, and a whole bunch more. Candidly, there's a lot of hidden gems out there, and I'm happy to share the ones I've been collecting over the years. So if you're interested, sign up via the link in the description and I'll see you there. Now let's compare some of the other tools to see how the $60 Midjourney competes. Before we go any further, it's worth stating that no one is currently competing with Google's Gemini products when it comes to video. VO3 is far and away the best, but you can't start from an image, so character consistency is really tough. By the way, stay tuned because in a few days I'll share another YouTube about how to improve character consistency in VO3. VO2 does a great job with image to video generation, and it's probably my favorite, but it wasn't able to make the monk levitate, and I ran into a bit of trouble with Gemini's policies as it mistook the woman in the photo for a famous actress and refused to generate the polar bear video. So I had to replace her with a different woman. However, the outcome with the new image is still really solid. With all that said about VEO2, the other generators are totally outmatched by VEO3, which by the way, is the only video generation tool that includes perfect lip syncing audio. I told you no more skydiving. Unfortunately, VO3 only gives pro subscribers a total of three video generations per day. So let's move on to other products. I've used Leonardo's image to video feature for many months now, and it's never really been that good despite their recent update. Here's the woman walking her bear. 
and then here's the monk not levitating. In Kling AI, I ran all three tests and the results were about average. The monk did eventually stand up after he was consumed by light, but that's not really levitation. The dachshund on the horse looks really good, so that's a pass. However, the woman walking the bear is very fuzzy and lacks actual detail. I will say that other than VO3, Kling AI is the only other tool that attempts audio, so that's kind of interesting. Unfortunately, it doesn't do it very well in version 2.1. Now let's look at Runway ML. In Runway's tests, the video generation focused more on the bright light around the monk than it did on the levitation. However, the monk did eventually kind of stand up and spread his arms. In the Dachshund riding a horse video, the horse looks like he's about to trip multiple times, but the water is very well done. Regarding the woman walking the polar bear, Runway ML made the polar bear life-size, which is way more realistic, but they both walk kind of funny. So in summary, if you're serious about AI video generation, Mid Journey's unlimited plan at $60 per month is worth it. For the most part, I'd say skip Leonardo. Their $60 unlimited generation plan is competitive, and they were the only ones that could do this cool eyes in effect with the monk during a separate test. However, their video gen just isn't that great. Runway ML is a good choice, but it's at $95 per month for unlimited, and I really think it needs to do a better job depicting humans in motion in order to justify that. Now, definitely use Gemini VEO2 at $20 per month, unless you're trying to levitate. Just know that Gemini's usage limits are still a bit vague, and they will cut you off for excessive usage at some point during the month. You can catch my other AI and automation updates in the videos on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe if you're into this kind of thing. We'll see you next time.